Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Hey, real quick, before we talk about the weather here, the weather going forward, let's go back to last Sunday morning. National Weather Service found evidence of yet another tornado touchdown. This is tornado number six. It's that one right there in southern portions of Floyd County, about three to four miles off to the southwest of New Albany. That was an EF1 with 90 mile an hour winds. So a number of weak tornadoes touching down Sunday morning. We had a break in the action and then late last night, these isolated strong storms developed and produced hail. And some of that hail was big. Look at that in Corridan, very, very early this morning or after midnight last night. Phil Fogel sent us that picture, at least golf ball sized hail. And that translated on into Western Jefferson County, the Metro, that picture in from Kathy, right around Churchill down. So some big hail in isolated locations late last night. The good news, it was a beautiful afternoon and it continues to be beautiful outside right now. Uh, we have clear skies, today's high 78 degrees, two better than the average high of 76. We started out at 61, by the way, from those isolated storms last night that did hit portions of the Metro, did hit the airport, about three quarters of an inch of rain reported. It's 69 and clear right now. The humidity 44% a northeasterly breeze in here between 5 and 10 miles an hour. The metro is the warm spot as it typically is this time of night. Get outside the city already 50s or low 60s showing up. It's going to be a cool quiet and clear night across all of the area. Good to see the quiet weather pattern making a return to the Ohio Valley. Big thunderstorms way off to the west of us but those are dying out as we speak. We're going to stay quiet the rest of the night and tomorrow as high pressure builds in from the Great Lakes, giving us these north and northeasterly breezes driving in the dry air. This is the water vapor imagery. Bottom line where you see all the yellow, that's a lot of dry air through the depth of the atmosphere and that's why it's so comfortable out there right now and that dry air is going to win out for about the next 36 to 48 hours. When you wake up in the morning, clear, cool conditions will greet you, low and middle 50s, right around 54 right here in the city. That'll pave the way for wonderful weather on your Wednesday. Talking wall to wall sunshine, a gentle breeze and those temperatures, they're gonna jump big time through the afternoon. Upper 70s, low 80s tomorrow as we're looking at 82 on your Wednesday afternoon here in the city. Looking ahead to Thursday now, a bit of a change. Here's what's going to be happening. Warm front to the south will start moving back to the north across the lower Ohio Valley. You're going to notice that increase in humidity from morning to late day. Matter of fact, enough humidity that we could see a couple of isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder late Thursday afternoon, but a better chance for some scattered showers and storms moving in here overnight Thursday night and lingering into Friday as well. All right, here's the forecast. Clear, quiet, pleasant, 54 on the low. Beautiful day tomorrow. Your 12-hour forecast for your Wednesday. 50s to start, 73 by lunch hour. Gonna go for 82 for that late day high. 82 again on Thursday, a chance, a small chance for an isolated late day shower or storm. Better chances with a little bit of impact weather in here for scattered showers and storms Friday, Saturday. Look what happens. Oh, are we gonna time this out right? We're in between systems for mom's day. Hopefully, yes, that's the way it's looking right now. Just check the latest data. It's still looking fairly dry for Sunday for Mother's Day, 83 degrees. And you can see the scattered storm chances move back in on Monday. Somebody is sitting on our shoulders right there. For good the times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looks really good. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. Sure.